you're going to get three new uh, muffler attachment bolts which go here along with the hardware that goes with it. You're going to get two gaskets, one that mounts to the motor and one uh, that mounts to your exhaust system. I got these three nuts and right now I'm not completely sure of their position but once you have all the tools uh, we're gonna we're gonna install this so let's go over to snazzy now we're going to add some more uh, interesting uh, shine to the engine by ex uh, the exhaust manifold just pull this loose with our 10 millimeter Oop. it broke loose and come look come off the ratchet so we just loosen them all up and mm, yep they take a little bit to break loose so be ready mm, wow okay Okay, I'd like to show this last one, let you see how we're going to do this. I'm holding on, getting all the bolts up there. Now, there's our ugly uh, stock exhaust. To take the exhaust manifold connection to the muffler loose, three bolts there, 15 millimeter uh, socket is going to be needed. and. You want to get you enough extension there that you can get some leverage on this baby and uh, we'll see how it comes loose. Okay, we got three of these. Mm, wow! My heavy duty torque wrench is going to give me the leverage I need to break this loose. And there it goes. And give it a quick snap there we go okay it's coming loose uh, easily and now I'm gonna reach down pull it out and voila we need to take the oxygen sensor right here and what we'll do that is either an adjustable wrench or 7 8 before you loosen though, you want to take your connection loose. There's a tab on the top right there and you pull up on that tab and you should be able to pull that loose. Okay, the tab just pulls up one side. It Actually, there's the tab. Pulls up right there. Okay, what you want to do that for is so that when you turn this, you turn the whole wire and everything. So make sure you take that loose. You don't want to twist these wires up. While I hold it, just give it a little tap and it should uh, break it loose. There we go. Much easier than trying to break it loose with your hand. Kind of loosen this up and help it twist okay put that right up there out of the way i'll start here this is one and i'm going to move him all the way i'm up to five and you can see i'm just moving right along show time we're going to remove that bad boy and see how that goes. They're all re removed and it's very easy. It's not too heavy and you're just going to have to maneuver and we'll see how we have to get that out. I may have to take something else out. Let me study this. Okay guys, 
this is a puzzle that you can take this out, uh, but you need to maneuver it in just the right way. You watch how I do this and it'll make it easy for you. You may have to move this hose out of the way as you're going, but you pull this off and you clear, clear this little bracket here. You could turn that or uh, you don't want to mess with your plumbing and you pull up and pull this out of the way and press dial. Change out. That's the way you do it. Before I install your new uh, Twist Pro uh, Performance Series exhaust manifold, I want you to see the difference in the holes right here. And this is rough down in here. This is smooth as a baby's butt, everything. This hole is much bigger than that. So there you go. Now, this plug is a three quarter inch plug and uh, it's on the inside. So you want to tighten that up. Uh, our oxygen sensor is going to go in this plug. So uh, we're going we're gonna to tighten that up before we install this. Now we're at the point of installing uh, the uh, new exhaust manifold and it's a tight fit and what you're going to have to do is this little trick you're going to have to push this over and down a ways it's on springs it's not going to hurt anything this is the way you do it put her down in here like this aim her around and then while you got her in this position push on this baby and let her go around until you get her in like that now you can do it but you've got to maneuver that gooseneck or the uh, the flange of the muffler it's on springs you're not going to hurt it but don't over stress it and push down on it too much push enough to get it in position now, with the gasket in the proper position, like this, come over and insert that into position now, and I think we'll be in a lot better shape right there. And now we're going to put the manifold in position, and just like that. Ah, perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're also going to pull our uh, exhaust system over a little bit and get it lined up. In the beginning, I showed you the parts that you were going to get uh, and uh, we didn't know exactly at the beginning what these uh, nuts were for, but the, uh, the stock nuts and the stock manifold did not have the well spots and the rise that these have and see they have a shoulder whereas these don't these four are going to have these uh, nuts without a shoulder so that's where these go in these locations so we're gonna put them in just get them started and uh, we'll go right on along. I'm not going to tighten anything because I want to get the exhaust muffler in place and that flange lined up. But what we're going to use is the stock bolts that uh, go into those three locations. Now, before we get it positioned, we need again to orientate our... Um, gasket what you would want to do is be sure that your uh, holes are lined up and it looks like it's more like that so put it in there 
and hold it up to the uh, exhaust manifold and see if everything lines up. It doesn't yet. So I'm going to turn it. Ah, right there. That's the alignment. So put it in position and you could mark this ahead of time with a little mark so you don't have to go through what I'm going through. You're learning by what I'm doing, okay? All right, now take the, uh, mu the muffler uh, collar and push it around and get you a thread hole there. Okay, there, that's good. And I think I'll get uh, just one should be enough right there. And now I'm going to go along and put some of these uh, nuts on the, or the exhaust. Okay. And be careful. I don't want to hear somebody say I dropped the nut. Looks like we're going to have to use a, a box in or something of that nature because I cannot, uh, I will not be able to get these in place. This will not go over and it is very close. So let me get me a, a 13, these are 13 millimeters. I'm going to get a 13 and, uh, uh, box or an open. We'll see which one works. All right, be right back. Now here's a situation that we're going to have to just work with. You cannot get a socket on any of these. Uh, so you're going to have to use a 13 millimeter open end and uh, I can't, I can't get, yeah, I can get the box in on there. So we're going to do that. Let me see if this will, but it won't go on, it won't go on this one here. So we're going to have to, I think with the heavy duty gasket that they're giving us that uh, it will not be a problem. So we're going to tighten these up and get them snug a little bit. See, it won't even go over there. So. This is the only way you're going to be able to accomplish this that I can see. 15. 15 millimeter these are. And I'm going to get this one started good. Ah. Oh, hallelujah. Now we just have the back one and the gasket is in. We're going to get our oxygen sensor and put his little but right in there and he went around this way and you just fit him right in there and screw him in actually this could go straight so we're not going to get it all messed up There, see, okay, and do this carefully, kind of twisting as you go, and yep. And we can tighten a little bit more, and letting this go around, I want to get sure, there. And now this clip goes on the top. And so, let's see, and it goes right in there, and it should snap in position. Okay, ah, that looks good. So we come to the last step uh, in the installation of the uh, exhaust header, and that is the torquing. I showed you my big Thor, uh, a torque wrench and it does not go down uh, for the um, 
header nuts that attach it, they need to go down to 14 uh, Newton meters. And the lowest I go to in the Newton meters is 33. So I can't get down uh, low enough for that. So I don't have a torque wrench for that. But I can get these bolts, which are 50 Newton meters. I got mine set at 50 uh, Newton meters, as close as I can get. And these uh, bolts should be torqued uh, to that point. So listen for the torque wrench. There. Do it again. Okay, that's torqued. And we'll go to this one. Good. And this little guy. Okay. Folks, what you got to do is um, for torquing, you just can't really accomplish it on this. You're going to have to try to put as much even pressure as you can on all the bolts. And if you noticed when you loosened them up, they were not super, super tight. 14 Newton meters is not very tight. So you don't want to gorilla these things on there. So I'm going to leave that to you uh, to see uh, where you can go with, uh, with this uh, torquing. But I don't see where you can get everything torqued uh, to specs uh, under the conditions. So uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. This is a solid piece, very solid. It's not going to, to give you a, a problem, I don't believe. So go seek help if, uh, if you uh, are concerned about it and uh, see what you can find out. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. I've already had it out. And one of the things you're gonna end up with is a little discoloration, but it's normal and it's gonna happen and you can't do anything. Uh, they tell me you can uh, polish on these and maybe get some of it off, but it's not going to be uh, the awful looking rusty uh, header like the, the other. So that's the installation. I hope you enjoy it. I've already seen the extra nine horsepower. I felt it as I took off. So be careful out there.